Vietnam's startup ecosystem is expanding rapidly with more than 4,000 startups and two tech unicorns, according to the Ministry of Science and Technology. Within this growing landscape, artificial intelligence has emerged as a key driver. Figure released at TechFest Vietnam 2025 showed that private investment in AI startups reached 80 million US dollars in 2024, an eightfold increase from the previous year. Officials say AI is now the most dynamic areas of innovation. By the end of 2025, around 170,000 businesses nationwide had adopted AI technologies, reflecting rising demand for automation and digital transformation. And TechFest Vietnam 2025 has wrapped up in Hanoi on Sunday, offering a snapshot of how innovation is unfolding in Vietnam. From hands-on technology experiences to policy directions and startup breakthroughs, let's take a closer look. Augmented reality challenges and robot interaction zones were the big attractions on TechFest 2025's opening day. Around Huan Give Lake, four open technology exhibition and experience zones are operating throughout the event, being held from 12 to 14 December. I find the booths really impressive. Shopping here feels like online shopping, but you get the products right away. It's especially convenient for families and schools. The state is creating the most supportive environment for every citizen to participate in innovation, especially in digital spaces, supported by AI, digital tools and modern platforms. At the opening ceremony, Prime Minister Phạm Minh Jing stressed that innovation must drive productivity, competitiveness and sustainable growth as TechFest 2025 launched a new phase of the National Innovative Startup Strategy and rolled out policies on science, technology and digital transformation. The business community and the public, especially startups and young people, should keep nurturing their aspirations, boldly experiment, and take the lead in tackling the nation's major challenges while creating Vietnamese technologies and products as new drivers of growth. Another key activity was the National Innovative Technopreneur Contest, where the top 10 teams National Wild presented practical solutions. Vietnamese biotech startup Grow Lab won the top prize. The win highlights the growing impact of homegrown innovation, with more to come from the team journey ahead. And to explore the winning idea behind Grow Lab, along with expert views on the challenges and prospects of Vietnam's startup ecosystem, we now speak with Professor Dr. Nguyen Phuong Thao, founder and senior advisor of Grow Lab, and Ms. Nguyen Phuong Linh, a judge of the Vietnam National Innovative Techno Entrepreneur Contest. First of all, congratulations on your championship. Professor Nguyen Phuong Thao, Grow Lab addresses a very specific and long term challenge in agriculture. What first inspired the idea behind Grow Lab? Okay, thank you for the questions. Uh, the things that inspire not just this company and my innovations, but I think that's uh, the purpose of my life as um, my team is to work and to contribute to this world. As a scientist, I have worked with farmers for many years. Uh, I thought that if I produce a better product for farmer, I can help their life better. And uh, for coconuts that I work with them for the last 10 years, I can see that, you know, each of which I can call a crisis, really, for this world, where all the coconuts, let's say, billions of trees are too old, need to re re replace. And there's no source for quality seedlings to replace it. So it's different from um, short-day crops that people can easily to work with. Long-day crops, uh, fruits, especially coconut, is super difficult to produce by biotech. And it's really the starting point of these innovations. What impressed me the most this year was not just the quality of the ideas, but the story and purpose behind a startup. So um, every team came from different backgrounds, some from laboratories, some from farms, some from urban communities or small town. But they were united by a common mission to contribute to more sustainable, inclusive, and resilient Vietnam.
in the coming year, I believe, I will see Vietnamese biotech startup uh, move beyond pilot projects to uh, scalable market ready solution from improved plant varieties and sustainable farming input into bio-based material and climate resilient system. Yes, and for the last question, I want to talk with Professor Nguyen Phuong Thao. Many Vietnamese startups clearly have strong ideas and a clear sense of purpose. From the perspective of a startup, what key barriers do you think need to be removed so Vietnamese startup can grow faster? I believe that for startup, um, people are smart. We have a very rich biodiversity. I feel like um, Vietnamese do have the entrepreneurship spirit, but it's not in a very systemic way. Uh, so people like to do business, but they are not having a chance to train, to get knowledge. Uh, I find out that scientists, we, don't we are not trained to have the entrepreneur ships um, knowledge and that's so such a waste because you know they can be innovators they can bring up a lot of interesting things for deep tech uh, the second thing is i think policy uh, people now today talking a lot about connections between government industry and the scientists but i don't see it um, really on the way yet and uh, capital is uh, still um, quite a weak point. Maybe the international market, how to reach to international market, um, and especially for young startup when they don't have much connection yet, uh, that I think can be improved for sure. Um, so I believe that with that, if we try to spread out the entrepreneurship spirits, uh, we will get a lot of young and, and successful startup. And I, I saw that, that we are in the way. Thank you very much for your insight.